In this episode of Conrail Today, we pick up where we left off in Lock Haven, Pennsylvania, where six boxcar red survivors of the era of the Big Blue passed the time away mingling in the ex-Pennsylvania Railroad, ex-Penn Central, ex-Conrail, now Norfolk Southern Lock Haven Yard. A rare find, Conrail BE-52B, boxcar number 267043, still has its high brake wheel and the stands for its roof walks. Conrail inherited a whole fleet of these former Erie 50-foot double-door boxcars built in the 1950s, several of which survived in captive, though non-interchange, auto parts service into the 1990s. This rare survivor is a storage car in the shared NS Nittany Bald Eagle Yard in Lock Haven, PA, as seen here in the summer of 2020. Also in this lineup is Conrail boxcar type X58A number 164150, which can also be seen on that same summer day. Closer to home, Reading and Northern EMD SW1500 number 1548 was built in August 1969 as the Reading number 2768 and later became Conrail number 9618. It's seen here in Taylor Yard in 2017, painted in the Reading and Northern's Reading inspired scheme. And just six days before I caught these former Upper Marion and Plymouth open hoppers on a Hallbaker stone train heading towards the Western New York and Pennsylvania interchange at Driftwood, I caught one of their flat cars moving southbound through town on the train 11Z. The Upper Marion and Plymouth was owned by the defunct Allenwood Steel Company of Conshohocken, Pennsylvania. It shuffled rail cars to plants on both sides of the Schuylkill River and interchanged with the Pennsylvania Railroad and the Penn Central, and the Reading, all the way into Conrail. Its motor power consisted of Baldwin and Alco rebuilds such as the S6 and the VO1000, and I believe that they may have had other in-cab switchers such as the SWs and the NW units, as well as a whole lot of open hoppers, as evidenced by the Stone Train. The Upper Marion and Plymouth reporting mark UMP Railroad still operates in Conshohocken at the old Allenwood Steel Plant. The mill became Lucan Steel, then Bethlehem Lucan's Plate, and now it is named something else. The UMP actually has nothing to do with the Chester Valley Branch or the East Penn Railway, other than the fact that, last that I knew, the UMP number 9008 was the motor power on that branch. And in addition to the mill in Conshohocken, the UMP serviced the chemical plant, the Philadelphia Inquirer newspaper, and a scrapyard. <laughs> 